When a royal loses their title, you can bet it will cause a national scandal and headlines. Whether it's for love, religion, or to live a life away from the public eye, these royals did just that. Today, we are breaking down some of the most controversial royals and the stories that caused them to lose their crowns or royal statuses. Be sure to stay tuned to see why Diana, Princess of Wales, was able to keep calling herself princess even after her divorce from Prince Charles. You won't want to miss it. Let's get right into it. One of the craziest stories of a royal giving up their title is the one of King Carol II of Romania. Not only did he hand over his crown and go into exile once, but he did it twice. One time, it even led to a six-year-old prince becoming the king of Romania. How insane is that? It all started back in 1919 when he was still a prince, he tried to renounce his title to marry a commoner. While they did go through with the marriage, the Romanian Supreme Court got involved and had it annulled. Eventually, he ended up marrying a woman that the government and his family approved of, but it didn't take long for him to start misbehaving. It's rumored he met his second wife at a car race in 1923. They had a secret relationship behind the scenes for a couple of years, but by 1925, they were a full-blown item. It was common knowledge amongst the royal family and the press, but because there were many regulations, the commoners in Romania didn't know about the relationship. That's because Prince Carol was still married. He eventually divorced his wife and removed himself from the line to the crown. This led to his son, Prince Michael, to take over the crown in 1927. You can imagine the turmoil this caused Romania. It got so bad that in 1929, the government begged Prince Carol to come back, which he did, thus becoming king of Romania. He continued to rule the country, but the people had it out for his partner, who he left the crown for earlier. It wasn't until 1937 that the citizens of Romania recognized her as a royal, and that was only because King Carol II decided to become a dictator. Then in 1940, during World War II, the king and his partner went into exile together, settling down in Mexico, then South America. They were finally able to marry, but neither were recognized as royals. While this was one of the more wild stories in the history of royals, this wasn't the only time a royal left their throne for love. In more recent times, Princess Mako of Japan has received threats of losing her title. That's because she's engaged to a commoner. If you know anything about the Japanese royal family, this is a big no-no. It's the law under the imperial house law that if a female member of the family marries a commoner, they will lose their royal status. This is a controversial law in Japan because the male members of the family don't have to abide by it. It's also ruled that no female members of the family can actually take the throne, so maybe that's why Princess Mako isn't too worried about losing her title. On the other hand, she has been engaged to her college sweetheart for quite a while and keeps delaying her wedding. She's set to wed in 2020 and will more than likely be stripped of her title. Is she holding off to see if the imperial household laws change? Only time will tell if she actually goes through with it. One person who had no problem abandoning their title for love was Prince Johan Friso. The Dutch prince was set to marry a Dutch commoner, but that wasn't the issue in the love story. During the vetting process of the princess-to-be by the royal family, the press released a dark secret. Apparently, while in college, Prince Johan's fiancé had a questionable relationship with a well-known criminal. Once the story got out, the family started pressing the issue. The couple decided not to divulge the full scope of the scandalous relationship, and in doing so, the government did didn't sanction the marriage. In the end, the prince had to give up his place in line to the throne. While he wasn't able to ever become king, the family let them keep their titles of prince and princess, even though they were only honorary. It's not always love that gets in the way of living the royal lifestyle. Sometimes it's someone's religion. It's hard to believe that religion still plays a significant role in the laws that surround royal families, mostly the British royal family. To be in line for the throne in Britain, you must be part of the Church of England. That's because the sitting king or queen is considered the head of the church. You could see how this might be an issue if you're from a different background. So when Princess Alexandra of Hanover decided to convert to Catholicism, it came with a price. Though she was far down the line of succession, Princess Alexandra lost her spot when she became Catholic. This wasn't too shocking. She's the granddaughter of Grace Kelly, an American actress who married into the royal family of Monaco. Considering her background, her conversion to Catholicism is standard. It's the national religion of Monaco, and many royals end up converting. She still has her title, but Princess Alexandra will never be able to call herself Queen of England. 
While it may seem converting to a religion that isn't recognized by their royal family is a blatant way to dodge the crown, there are more obvious ways that royals are getting out of becoming king or queen, like totally stepping away from the public eye and denouncing their royal status. To be fair, Marius Borg Hoiby of Norway was never actually given the title of prince, though he was very much viewed as a member of the Norwegian royal family. His mother actually married into the family after his birth, which means he isn't of royal descent. While that's the case, growing up he made appearances for the family, as well as enjoyed the luxuries that came with being a royal. But that all changed when he turned 20 years old. After years of being in the public eye, Marius decided he had had enough. A statement from the royal family shared his desire to leave his royal status behind. Instead, he wanted to live a normal college kid's life in the States. His mother and the rest of the family supported his decision. Not long after, his personal bio and pictures were deleted from the Norwegian royal family's website. They even announced that Marius would no longer make appearances unless it's for normal family functions. While everyone was given a warning about Marius' exit from his royal status, this next royal disappeared seemingly overnight. The whole thing was very bizarre and had the citizens of Thailand scratching their heads with curiosity. Though this all went down in 2014, the scandal is still shocking the nation of Thailand. It all started when people noticed that Princess Rirasmi Suadi was erased from royal family photos. She was the third wife of the current king, who was still just a prince at the time. Many people had no idea what was going on until news broke that there was some trouble in the family. Apparently, before she lost her title, 20 members of Sri Razmi Suwadi's family were arrested and stripped of their titles. They were given the equivalent of British knighthoods when they married into the royal family. Around the time of the arrests, the prince started distancing himself from his wife. Finally, in a statement from the crown, he confessed that he was divorcing his third wife and that she had volunteered to give up her title. No one is sure how true that is, though. This wasn't the first time this had happened to the prince. He and his second wife had three kids, all of which he disowned, and they had to flee to another country. It came out later that the Prince of Thailand was in a relationship with another woman while married to his third wife. He ended up marrying this woman, and she became his fourth wife. Who knows how long this relationship will last? He ended up bringing her and his newest fling to his father's funeral after his passing in 2016. Needless to say, watching the royal family of Thailand is like watching a soap opera storyline play out in real life. Now, let's move on to another royal with a little less intense break from the crown. Princess Ayako of Japan is the latest member of the family to lose her title thanks to marriage. As we stated earlier, women in the Japanese royal family are not permitted to keep their titles when they marry a commoner, and it seems as if these ladies are dropping out of the family like flies. Not only do they lose their titles, but they lose the luxuries that come with it. Princess Ayako must now adjust to everyday life. She'll learn to drive, get her own groceries, and you know, function like a normal human person. This may seem trivial to the rest of us commoners, but apparently this is a huge adjustment. Speaking of huge adjustments, no royal family has felt the burden of abandonment quite like the British royal family. In fact, Queen Elizabeth wouldn't even be queen right now if this next love story hadn't have happened. It was between Queen Elizabeth's uncle, King Edward, and an American divorcee, Wallace Simpson. Now, it wasn't the fact that she was an American that caused the backlash towards the king, it was because she was divorced. But don't get it twisted, many people were upset about her nationality as well. Sounds similar to another Another royal love story, right? We're looking at you, Meghan Harry. At the time, it was not permitted for a royal family member to marry a divorcee. When faced with this predicament, King Edward III turned over his title to marry the woman he loved. In doing so, his brother Queen Elizabeth's father became king, which completely shifted the whole line of succession. In the end, it turned out to be a blessing in disguise for the UK. King Edward III ended up having a controversial relationship with a particular German dictatorship. Let's just say, it wouldn't have been a good look as far as history books are concerned. While we are on the topic of the British royal family, let's fast forward to the current monarchy. Queen Elizabeth and her husband, Prince Philip. Did you know that Prince Philip was the Prince of Denmark and Greece before he was married to the Queen? Because of this, he actually had to give up his titles in the other countries and take his mother's maiden name. This may be the only time that someone denouncing their title ended with them having a higher status. 
Now, what happens to a British royal family member when they get a divorce? If they were married into the family, there's a chance they can lose their royal family member status. But that wasn't the case for Princess Diana. Okay, okay, to be clear, she was actually stripped of her title, Her Royal Highness, but she could still technically call herself a princess. After her divorce from Prince Charles, Diana was left with the title Diana, Princess of Wales. This is a common practice when it comes to the exes of royal family members. The title is kept as a courtesy, though it doesn't have as much clout as a Her Royal Highness title. It was Prince Charles that insisted that she lose the title. This was a huge blow to Diana, and it's been revealed that Prince William had some comforting words for his mother at the time. In a book written by her former butler, it was revealed that Prince William promised to reinstate his mother's title after he became king. Though he will never be able to see the look on her face if he fulfills this promise, it will be interesting to see if he does so. Are you shocked by any of these stories of royals losing their crowns or titles? Tell us what you think in the comment section below. While you're at it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the taco. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.